going to show a clip now of the movie. And we had an email from a viewer called Gab Gibbons. It says, Dear Jonathan team, I watch the show every week and love it, but can I make a suggestion? And it's to do with the way Daniel just turned around there, you see. Let's have a look at the next bit. When you have a guest being interviewed, can't you give them a swivel chair to sit in? Because to see them trying to turn 180 degrees to watch the screen is so awkward. Like you just had to do then. And I realised that's a course that is probably quite right because it's rude. But I thought, well, we have Mr. James Bond, Daniel Craig, on the show this week. If we need to turn around to watch a clip, mm. why don't we do it Bond style? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm about to find out, Because <laughs> you know the way I roll, Daniel. <laughs> you know I don't More know ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has that effect on me. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Have a look at the clip. Here we go. <laughs> when was the last time you slept? Vesper's boyfriend, Yusuf Kabira, the one who was abducted in Morocco, the one she was trying to save. His body was washed up on a beach in Ibiza. We're meant to believe the fish did that to his face. His wallet and ID were in his pocket. Oh, well, that's convenient. Quite. Which is why I did a DNA check on a lock of his hair found in Vesper's apartment. It's not him. A lock of his hair? I wouldn't have thought best with the sentimental type. Well, we never really know anyone, do we? But I do need to know Bond. I need to know that I can trust you. And you don't? Well, it'd be a pretty cold bastard who didn't want revenge for the death of someone he loved. You don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to go chasing him. It's not important. And who was she? Oh. Good nice stuff. Yes. I've got to get us back round. Are we going to get back round? Yeah, but it goes both ways. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> now the stop it. Hold it. That won't work. That won't work. That won't Leave it. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs> 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 Have faith. Okay. Yeah. You do it this time. It's Go a big on. red one. Hold it. And uh, now. Now. That's what he's there now. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. I'm sweating. Old Bond over there, cool as a cucumber. <laughs> I feel like I've been interrogated. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm sweating now. Uh, OK, let me ask you about um, ageing, the ageing process, because during the making of this movie, you, you had a pretty big birthday, didn't you? Mm -hmm. uh, can we say how old you turned? Forty. Forty years old. You wouldn't think it to look at him. Forty years old, old gentlemen. <laughs> you are in great shape. That's just for still being alive. That I'm oh, surprised to get there. So. <laughs> it's a weird yeah. thing, isn't it? But, you know, these days, 40 years like uh, 25 was years ago. It's, uh, you know, that's what I keep telling myself, anyway. Good, yeah. yeah. Um, did you have a big party? Did they throw a big bash for you? They did. They threw a big party for me in... Uh, in Panama. Yeah. Wow. But you know, can we just stop and think for a second? Of all, you know, a lot of men find turning 40 to be a bit arduous. If you're turning 40 and you're A, James Bond, B, in South America, C, just about to snog a Bond girl, you know, there are worse places to be at that stage. <laughs> uh, do you, did you uh, get any messages from home on that day? Did anyone contact you from the UK to say happy birthday? Do you I remember? remember I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Does it take a lot to get you drunk, Daniel? No. I, I bet you can hold your drink. Well, we've never found out, have we? Because you're scared. <laughs> you say so. I know what you're scared of. Go on. You're scared of what you might let out mm. with me when you're drinking. The emotions, the desires, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, please, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, uh, we have a gift for you. We shouldn't have splashed out, I know, but we did. <laughs> I hasten to add we used my money, not licence payers' money, although, of course, the sense is the same thing. Um, <laughs> Happy birthday, Daniel Craig, from us on the show. Seeing as you're incapacitated, I'll just move the ribbon for you. Can I help you with it? Yeah, let's see. It's not just the box. Right. There you go. It's a nose oh, clipper fantastic. for your hair. <laughs> for you get older. Because that is an issue. When I'm, I, do you, have you found that with your grooming since oh, you turned really, on? That's really lovely. But also, because, because you like the gadget, and I know mm. the one we, we put this on, and it also works as a cocktail uh, shaker as well. <laughs> so you can be doing both there. You can do up there and drink at the same time. And that's a one of a kind. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Come on. Put the ribbon in. Thank you very much. Are you going to take that home with you? I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> okay. That's a present for you yes. from us there. All right. Thank now, um, 
You mentioned uh, uh, the second Bond movie, you're excited about it, you're looking for the third one. Uh, but I know you have time in between the Bond movies to <coughs> mm. take on other projects, be it live work, on mm. stage or movies. Mm. Uh, what are you going to do next? What's lined up for you in between this uh, and the next Bond movie? Uh, I've got nothing between this one. I mean, I don't know when we're going to shoot the next one, but I've got nothing lined up at the moment. I'm just going to get this to heal and take some time off, get a holiday. I guess you probably need some. It's pretty long. It's a long jaunt these movies take, isn't it? It's been... <coughs> it's been... Yeah, it has, because it's been such a short period between the time we finished shooting and the time it's being released that, you know, now I'm sort of on the road, we're, trying to, we're going out, we're trying to sell the movie, we're trying to publicize well, it. Well, that takes a long way. You go all around the world, mm -hmm. don't you? It's a global phenomenon. But what do you do, Tom Wine? If you had time now, if they said, OK, you've only got a month off, you can't do another movie, you can't do a live thing, mm. uh, what, 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 what do you enjoy doing when you're away from uh, the business itself? Sitting on the beach reading a book. Just sitting and reading? Mm. Any hobbies apart from that? <coughs> Nothing special. You collect anything? No. No, you don't collect anything? Not really, no. Nothing at all? No, well, not in any great number. What do you give if you want to give yourself a special treat? The movie opens bigger than anyone could expect all over the world. I like watches. You like watches? <coughs> oh, you collect watches? Collect them. I've got a well, you are. Sounded like, a, <laughs> sounded like you collect them to me. <laughs> well, I want to get to the bottom of your obsession with watches. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I, uh, I've met all the Bonds. Mm -hmm. All the Bonds but one, the American guy who did it years ago, early on. Jimmy Bond. Jimmy Bond. I yeah. never met him, but all the other guys I met, including yeah. Bob Holness, right. who was the first Bond, believe it or not, you know, from Blockbuster, mm -hmm. but before Blockbuster. <laughs> so, and every time I've dropped a... You seem to be the only one who knows this piece of information, because I've never heard this about Bob Holness. You didn't know it's about Bob Holness? No. Well, you sit down I with him, he doesn't stop going on about it, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'll have a pee, please, Mr. Bond, you know, he's not <laughs> Anyway, every time I hung out once, Christy Piers, I've always dropped hints about, oh, me, going to give you the free watches. They're like, no, I suppose for them it's nothing really, is it, a free watch like that? I suppose they've got loads of them. I suppose they give away to everyone else to promote the movie. Yeah, I'll do a bit for the film if you want. Yeah, those watches look good. Have I ever had a bloody watch? What do you want me to do? Give me that, <laughs> give me, give me that watch you got there. <laughs> you, a, you don't, A, you didn't pay for it. B, you <coughs> don't collect them. I collect them. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know I was a watch collector before you came on the show flaunting your watches? If you want this watch, it's yours. Oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> <laughs> give me the watch, and in return, I will give you this coaster of Wicked of <laughs> 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 Okay. I couldn't possibly take your watch off you, but if you want to donate that to charity on my behalf or your behalf, that would be a lovely thing to do, wouldn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Do Why don't we give this to Children in Need? It's on in two weeks' time, and we're launching this on Children in Need. No, oh, you've got kids. I don't want that. I don't need those. I, I don't need those. Wouldn't this be Get lovely? To sign no, no, wouldn't Get this be lovely in your whatever... We'll make it a right, part I don't of the know fish. where you live, I don't know what your house is like, mm. never invited me round, mm. but... <laughs> Wouldn't it be great you could start a collection of famous face placemats? <laughs> Give him a watch. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that. He's I'm, really, I'm really grateful. Look at Thank his little you. face. He can't believe his luck. He's gone over the nose trimmer and a picture of Ricky Gervais That's on a coaster. It's got to be one of the best nights of your life, isn't it? Getting <laughs> <laughs> uh, how great to see you again. Mm. I want to see you in more movies outside the Bond movies. I love you in the Bond films, don't get me Thank wrong. You. And, I, uh, and, you know, the risk of going out on a limb here, I think you're dangerously close to becoming my all-time favourite Bond. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey, how great to have Daniel Craig on the show, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? What a great sport, what a great man, what a great actor, and a great James Bond. The new movie, Quantum of Solace, is out. Make sure you go and see it. It's open. I think it opens next Friday here in the United Kingdom. Mr. Daniel Craig, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hold on. No, no. can't go without that. I'm not yet. Don't go without those. Right there. Fantastic. I feel like I feel like crackerjack. Yeah. I think we know who came out ahead. <laughs> but Daniel, as he went to the he's always said, I feel like I'm on Cracker Jack. <laughs> uh, what a great guest, isn't he, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Uh, and the new movie's non-stop. Oh, yeah. If you like the Bond movies, it's a cracker.